A fix for the fluctuating pings happening in Halo Infinite might be just around the corner. A gigantic shakeup happens with Halo, as well as a splinter grenade returning? If you want to know everything, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Now, tis the season for proper gift giving and snacks, and well, I got you one right here. Tritraits.com has got you covered. Tritraits.com, there you can explore beyond your borders what tasty snacks other countries are enjoying. Such countries like France, Croatia, Korea, Australia, South Africa, Canada, Mexico, and so many more. And today we're trying out snacks from Italy. So if you're looking to broaden your snacky borders or missing one of your favorite treats from the country you used to live in, Tritraits.com has got you covered. If you're interested, check out the link in the pinned comment down below, guys. And if you're looking to subscribe to one of their boxes, use code KevinCoolX for 15% off your purchase. When you do, it helps support the channel as well. If you have any questions, check out their links in the description of this video as well for their socials. And thank you, TryTreats.com, for your support. And let's get right back into the video here. So Joseph Stain recently replied to this Halo support tweet with the eyeballs giving some importance like, hey, you definitely need to look at this as this tweet right here says, as part of our ongoing investigation into fluctuating ping, the Halo Infinite team will be conducting a test later today on our North Central US data server. Some players may experience some occasional matchmaking errors and things like that. Basically saying they're finally working on the fluctuating ping for Halo Infinite to get the servers working as they should because we've been experiencing this packet loss issue since July. It's been the biggest issue I've been having with the game. It's really actually deterred me from jumping in and really grinding out the game, especially on online matchmaking, because I just know that when I'm playing, my ping is gonna go anywhere from like 30 to like 120 to 80, then like back to 40 or something. Like it's all over the place. And it looks like 343's had a hand on this issue since October. Ray here tweeted about Munishack saying that they've been able to repo it internally and are just gathering data and just need to keep digging a little bit more for that data. And while they're finally getting the live data that they need to hopefully figure out what's going on with the server. So maybe by the time the December drop pod comes around, which I talked about yesterday in my video, guys, if you guys want to know more about it, check out the end of this video for the December drop pod video. Talk about the ping issues. Trigger dead zones causing different weapon jamming, cross core customization, things like that. But honestly, seeing this tweet guys really got my hopes up thinking that, oh my gosh, maybe with this December drop pod that we know is coming confirmed by 343, that this could actually be the change and fix that we need for the ping fluctuations that we've been dealing since, I don't know, like July, June of this year for basically the half of the year. The servers have basically been just playable enough to where it makes you not want to quit the game completely. Well, I am crazy excited about it, as you guys can probably tell. And it's once we get some concrete information and what their data that they report on is, uh, what they found from it, then I'll let you guys know here on the channel. Now, some big news hit yesterday about Halo, and especially on the competitive side of things with cloud nine the second best team in the league dropping their roster which like you couldn't ask for this team to perform any better honestly within halo and they actually drop their entire roster right here including the coach for no reason in particular when this actually happened yesterday but today we know why it was just announced today that space station gaming would now be the new home for the former cloud nine team right here with eco stellar penguin and bound all together still on the team this is going to be one of the best teams to look out for for year two of halo infinite now what they didn't carry over the coach from c9 hoaxer the coach for space station gaming is still going to be elamite so that's going to be still there which elamite again a legendary player excellent coach so i don't really think they're gonna be losing a whole lot there or maybe if not, they might be even gaining some, but I know Hoaxer is a fantastic coach. I mean, obviously led this team to a ch couple championships as well as, you know, I think, think finishing second place at least in every event. Though there currently is no word on the moment right now about what's gonna be happening with Cloud9 moving forward. Are they straight up just jumping out of Halo? Are they reassessing things? My thoughts would be that they're probably just jumping out completely as, you really couldn't ask for a better team in Halo than the Cloud19 that they had. So it's very odd to see them jump out. Now, I, when I was at these various HTS events for uh, throughout the year here, for, for when I went to Kansas City, Cloud9 did have a booth there. It was rather popular. It was, you know, I went there, I checked it out. People were kind of by checking it out and stuff like that. I saw people rocking Cloud9 merch and stuff like that. But then oddly, when it came to the Seattle event, 
there was nothing there for Cloud9. So maybe they were kind of like already heading on their way out. I've heard a lot of people say that since the economy right now is not exactly doing so great. Also, a lot of these uh, esports teams rely on crypto when it comes to making their funding possible. And I know that says like blockchain.com right across like Cloud9 Jersey. So that could be a part and maybe just like the money, even though they made good money as a team, it might just not be profitable enough for them to keep that team. There's a lot of different factors, a lot of different ways to kind of contemplate and speculate on why Cloud9 decided to drop their best, one of the best teams in the game. It was definitely a jaw dropper, but seeing Space Station Gaming come back and actually buy them out, and then now that one of the more favorited organizations in Halo now has one of the best teams, it's gonna be very exciting. I know Ubernick's very happy about this. And the last topic to talk about today, guys, is the Splinter Grenade returning in Halo Infinite? Well, our favorite leaky boy, as always, Sarasia <laughs> tweeted this out saying, new type of grenade right here with this icon, which is obviously very familiar that we all know from the uh, Halo 4 and 5 days, right? He stated that the it's a splinter grenade. Seems like the grenade icon image got added with the update recently, which is like pretty crazy to see. But then when I was looking through a few more of the posts on this, that within the same thread here, Halo.API also replies saying there were actually a ton of leftovers when it comes to some of the images in the game. Like we here we have a mantis. Scroll down, you have like it looks like a pelican or a wasp, something like that. Over here, we have the armament blaster that was, I think, officially cut now from the game, but obviously never was officially announced. We, we definitely saw the toys for it, but that's about it, really. So it's not going to be just that look, maybe we see an image with it within the game that it will be in the game. Uh, right now, it seems like it might just be kind of a leftover kind of thing. I saw a lot of people talking about this, getting excited about saying that Splinter Nade is coming back in Halo Infinite. Um, but I if anything, it may be season four at this absolute earliest, but I highly even doubt that it would even be coming back. And if you want to know more about the December drop pod, talking about like cross core customization, server fixes, weapon jamming, and a whole lot more, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.